is official. U.S. retailer Walmart now has a 77% stake in India's e-commerce giant Flipkart. Uh, India's competition watchdog gave its approval of the takeover despite protests from local traders over fears the deal would drive uh, small retailers out of business. Uh, for more on the deal, let's uh, get the details from our India business reporter, Davina Gupta. She joins us uh, from Delhi. Uh, Davina, tell us more. Well, uh, it's the second attempt uh, of Walmart to enter India and it's officially now stepped on the growing uh, Indian e-commerce market, which is pegged at about $20 billion. Now, like the U.S., its biggest rival here in India in the online space will be Amazon. But unlike the U.S., where Amazon is edging past uh, uh, Walmart uh, in the online space, here, Walmart has an advantage with the leading Indian company, Flipkart. It will have a base of 100 million consumers uh, who are attracted with deep discounts. Also, it plans to expand in the grocery segment, which is seen as the next battleground for online players. It is uh, going to take about six months before it fully integrates uh, with the Indian e-commerce uh, company. Uh, for now, the holding uh, of these companies remain the same. There's no change in the ownership uh, structure. But Amazon is also looking aggressive and has already pumped in about $5 billion of money uh, from uh, the company to compete with Walmart's presence in the few months from now. And very quickly, Davina, you keep talking about Amazon there, but we just heard from India's country manager of Amazon actually suggesting that uh, his colleagues get a life. Well, that's right, because uh, what he suggested is that don't check your uh, emails or take work calls after uh, 6 p.m. till 8 a.m. for a work-life balance. But uh, for a global company with employees working in different time zones, will that be reality remains to seen? Is it easier said than done? World Economic Forum has said that in India, especially in cities like Mumbai, they are at the top index when it comes to working mm -hmm. hours put in. And uh, it means uh, that though advice is great, but will his employees be able to follow it? And will other companies take a cue? Well, we'll have to see. Indeed. Thanks for that, Davina Gupta in Delhi. Let's uh, take a quick look at the markets now before.